Can this mammoth put a hit on it? No. Welcome back to Rex Memesis, the Alpha Tyrannosaurus, the Talking T Rex, aka Alpha Jossie, speaking here, and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution 2. For this episode, we'll be checking out the Mammoth mod by Nano Lensensis as replacing the Nasutoceratops in it, and it will fight, of course, against, well, a Matilda and, of course, normal Jurassic Park T Rexes. So, let me know who do you think will win in this episode. I went for the snow uh, theme here but before we get into this little battle we have right here it is important to know that frontier does not support these um, mods if you want to test out these mods in this case the mammoth uh, mod it's your responsibility it's not on them if anything happens to your game it crashes so let me know are you excited who's gonna win and make sure to stomp a tear foot on that subscribe and bell button if you want to get notified of more Jurassic World evolution 2 content now without having said let's release um let's start off with of course matilda the t-rex and there she is beautiful yes rexy Hi. has joined Oh boy, no, oh, if only it was Nigel Marvin. <laughs> so there we go, we have a T-Rex in the enclosure, we might as well just call you Matilda, there we go. And we have a mammoth ready in this hatchery, which is a manny, but it is a mammoth either way. So, let's release a mammoth into Jurassic World Evolution. Relatively small, isn't it? <laughs> and there we go. Yes, Henry Wu, would you like to say <laughs> something about this? Mm, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So, we have Manny from Ice. It's a, oh my word, it's a lot smaller than I thought, actually. <laughs> but this mammoth can actually fight against a T Rex. Now, of course, we had a mammoth mod in Jurassic World Evolution 1, but um, it replaced uh, one of the sauropods that couldn't fight back against the T Rex. But now, of course, since you're on the Pseudoceratops, you can actually. There we go. It dislikes the T Rex, and we will see, hopefully, a battle between you, a mammoth, and, of course, Matilda, the T-Rex there. So let's speed it up. And let's see. Oh my god, you are so small. Why are you so small? <laughs> I was expecting you to be bigger. The, the screenshots have lied to me. <laughs> there we go. I think the T-Rex is about to roar. They're both, both missing their fours there. I'm just waiting for them to do a little bit of a spar. Yes, there it is. The first T-Rex spar. Matilda has his eyes on the mammoth, which I think is going to sleep. Or is that the battle stance? I'm not too sure. Oh, it is! Look at it! <laughs> Mammoth running! <laughs> there it is. Look at this. Oh, it's a battle straight up. Oh, a bite from the T-Rex first. Mammoth uh, taking a hit there. This is Ice X3, Dawn of the Dinosaurs alternate universe. This is a different outcome here. Different scene. <laughs> The animators didn't have any time to animate this, so yes, we'll be doing <laughs> that here today. But the mammoth is backing down though, um, so the T-Rex has won. Hopefully, sooner or later, we will get a better um, normal woolly mammoth or Columbia mammoth uh, mod, or Frontier might actually add their own mammoth into the game. Now, hopefully though, we'll just have to wait and see. You are <laughs> straight up um, dying. This. <laughs> You are wondering what is going on. Um, yeah, so you have 42% health left. Even though this one is on full modifications. But in this game, it doesn't seem to matter. 100%, yeah, the Mammoth couldn't uh, get a hit on it. 181 uh, dominance. And what about you? You're all the alpha, though. Ugh, not even 100. Oh, boy. I think that um, that requires some backup here. We do have some more Mammoths in the hatchery. Five of them to be exact, we'll see, so I have five mammoths being released there. So, and, uh, because I don't think you can actually take down a T-Rex by yourself. 
But yet again, we would have to see. Let's release some more mammoths into the enclosure. So tasty there. With a little bit of tusks on the side. As toothpicks. Righty, we have more. <laughs> so many <laughs> manis in the park there. Let's see which one is the actual strongest or there. Or 90. No, they cannot defeat that T-Rex. But maybe it will um, get lower Matilda's stats if I release some more T-Rexes into the park so let's see it oh look at that <laughs> Matilda blocking it there more T-Rex has joined the enclosure there the environment and they are scattering already the <laughs> Nusotoceratops <laughs> are out of there. <laughs> Boy, these are on zero modifications though, but if we look at the dominance... Yeah, okay, Matilda is still on top with the top dominance there. She is the alpha of the T-Rex group. So we have six mammoths in here and three T-Rexes. And let's speed it up for a battle. Oh. It, could, it looks like it can actually hunt down a mammoth there. Oh, it picked, it picked the target. I love the battle stands though. That looks very cool. <laughs> so yes, this mammoth is just running towards all the mammoths need to run. Except for that T-Rex though. Matilda will take on that. Oh, yeah, mammoth. This one takes another hit on. Oh, that mammoth will go down. It will go down and there it goes. Hopefully the mammoths can, um, oh, <laughs> look at this, such a cool shot there. Um, hopefully, no, it's, it's backing down. It's backing down. Top modifications, alpha of the group can't take down normal um, T-Rex there. It's still too powerful. But uh, I thought size didn't matter in this game. Well, apparently it does. Oh, it picked another target, didn't it? It picked another one. It's uh, it's in the battle stance, but it's not looking correctly there. Even a T-Rex is like, I am over here a bit to your right there. <laughs> so let's speed it up. I think the uh, T-Rexes will actually win this. They The mammoths will stand no chance there <laughs> against the T-Rexes. They're just calmly sitting. I'm just sit with you there. That's, <laughs> that's just how it's going to go there. One uh, mammoth is down, and I think... Um, yeah, this is this is not gonna end well there. Is the mammoth gonna run again? Top speed, there we go. Hop, 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 hop again <laughs> towards the T-Rex. Can the mammoth even? No, it can't even put its tusks into the side of the T-Rex. It it does not stand a chance against the T-Rex. It's a bit of an overkill here. <laughs> the mammoths are um so weakened they have to keep backing down. And yep. This T-Rex will go down as well. No, not the T-Rex, the Mammoth. All of them are on a hundred percent. Maybe it will... No. Oh, yes, it did. Finally. <laughs> All right. Is this the actual... No, it's not the Alpha. But, I mean, it actually fight back with 9% health. It did a whopping 16, 15% damage. <laughs> and all of them are on low health. Wow, okay, so I think after they won some battles, the dominance, um, not the, the dominance is still the same. What about the dominance on this one? 90, 90, 90, 75, they will go down. This one is just enjoying the sun, isn't he? That one too. I think, no, they're all the same, even lowered actually. So there you have it. Oh, this mammoth is, I uh, can't really <laughs> look at the T-Rexes anymore. We need some normal elephants to pack up the mammoth there. This is uh, this is not how I wanted it to go. But at least that uh, one mammoth got a hit on the the T Rex there. But the mammoths don't really know what to do. This is how the mammoths went extinct. And uh, yeah, I wonder if there's a T Rex alive today. Looking at myself here, but <laughs> oh yes. Okay, there's another battle. This time the T Rex actually runs towards 
the mammoth there. Can this mammoth put a hit on it? No. That, um... Oh. <laughs> Here's our answer. No, it cannot. <laughs> the T-Rex still triumphs there. So... Hmm, maybe the uh, mammoth needs to be replaced with another herbivore that actually stands more of a chance against the T-Rex because the T-Rexes in here are uh, too overpowered that <laughs> if the T-Rexes are, what would the Spinosaurus in this game be? Yeah, and there it goes. Whoops. <laughs> another Manny down there. There are how many Mannies are left? Yes, Dr. Henry, I'm sorry, but I don't think you actually created these. <laughs> one, and are there only one? Really? No, two, but it's on very low health. 10%. That's looking bad for the mammoth there. It looks actually very good. <laughs> like, <laughs> I can only see Manny in here, but like as a normal mammoth uh, there, it looks pretty good as a replacement there. So there you have it. The mini mammoth, juvenile mammoths, baby mammoths against a um, what adult T-Rex there. If only we had uh, some sub-adult T-Rexes, maybe the mammoths took more of a chance there. But um, yes, I, I thought the Pseudoceratopses were a lot stronger when it took on that Allosaurus in Battle of the Big Rock. But that's an entirely different universe again. <laughs> so all these different universes come together and the logic flies all over the place and... Sometimes you have outcomes that we weren't really looking for. Died in a fight with Matilda. Yeah, and there it goes. So Matilda is just enjoying that little mammoth snack on the side. I think that's the end of the story for Mammoth. This is I say six plot right here. <laughs> the T-Rex comes back and was like, yeah, actually, I do wonder what a mammoth tastes like. And then this happened. <laughs> the, the, there you go. <laughs> Spoiled the movie for you if they ever made a <laughs> another one for you. I'm sorry So oh, this one actually died it, uh, it couldn't heal up of course. It's just staring at the ground angry like mmm <laughs> This is all Sid's fault <laughs> I mean way too much fun <laughs> Alrighty then we have one Manny left there we go, so I think uh, this one actually took a beaten, but it did somehow survive and it doesn't have any food to heal up. That same goes for the T-Rexes, but yet again they can feed on the dead corpses. So none of the T-Rexes, actually one took a hit, but of course it healed up already. So there we go, maybe it requires a hundred mammoths in the enclosure to take down one T-Rex. Not too sure because the T-Rex just battles. Uh, one and then moves on to the another another even though the modifications are maxed out for the new pseudoceratops in this case the mammoth so Even with that uh, fighting against the normal genome t-rex in this game. It doesn't work But it is the alpha it went a bit higher there But I'm not too sure if that's enough to take down a t-rex It's got a hundred and let's say it would battle this t-rex. Yeah, it would still not be enough and health is dropping it cannot heal up I think that's the end for the mammoth there. I think it's gonna be picked on by a T-Rex. One of them, or oh, they're all surrounding it. Two of them actually. This one, oh yeah, it's got its eyes on it. It's gonna go straight for the kill. Straight for it. No time wasting. I know it is. Yep, there it goes. And that's the final mammoth going down. <laughs> And there it goes, the T-Rexes are the winners of four of this dinosaur battles we saw today. So, let me know what you think of this mammoth uh, mod uh, down below. And uh, yes, make sure to stomp a T-Rex foot on that subscribe and bell button to get notified for more Jurassic World Evolution 2 content uh, there. Now, um, g give it a little GG in chat for Matilda and the T-Rexes there. They have done uh, great there. A bit of an overkill on the mammoths, but that was kind of on a percentage level to be expected. <laughs> So yes, I hope all of you lovely mams are going to have a great night as you all you lovely dinosaur members in the next episode. Goodbye T-Rexes, Alpha Tyrannosaurus the Talking T-Rex. Out.